Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And right now I am in my weekend getaway trip. I came here previously as well, so you can find another video in my channel. So I am right now in Pigeon Point Lighthouse. But with Pigeon Point, today I am going to do some other points as well, but not the beaches because today's cloudy you can see i'm just wearing this hoodie because it's a bit rainy so let's go and see pigeon point first outside the park you can easily get free parking this lighthouse built in 1871 and it's 115 foot tall Inside the museum, actually, you can find this big light. This is the original light of this lighthouse. This lighthouse is celebrating 150 years in November 12, 2022. So if you are nearby, don't forget to be here. Behind this um, lighthouse, you can see this amazing Pacific view. I simply love it. From the ocean side, this is the front view of the lighthouse. I simply love this view and love this lighthouse. This location is amazing. This place is highly recommended for its scenic beauty. So until you be there, you can't even imagine how beautiful this place is. This is the easy access to the beach, so you can take the stairs. We are in our second location, which is Natural Bridges State Park, and here we pay $10 for parking. So we came here for two reasons. The first reason is uh, monarch butterfly. So October to mid November, actually the entire November month is the season for monarch butterfly. So if you want to see them, uh, this is the one of the places in California. If you are not near natural bridges or Santa Cruz area, you can also go to Pismo Beach to see these monarch butterflies. Let's go towards the beach and from there we can actually see the natural bridges. And here you go. This is the natural bridges. You can see this uh, rock formation. This place is also good for sunset. So you may consider that as well. So here we are in our third and final location for the day is Santa Cruz Boardwalk and fortunately we are able to see this vintage car show it's amazing it's for me it's like first time and there are so many cars in this show i found a car from 1926 isn't it amazing i will share this festival link in the comment section uh, in the description box actually so maybe next year you will plan accordingly So we parked our car, it's like $15 for the day parking. Now we are going inside the boardwalk. We are not going to buy any tickets since no plan for any rides. 
from here you can easily get the beach access uh, so that is also free but if you want to do any activities or want to get into all those rides then you need to purchase a ticket so purchase a ticket it could be like on spot or you can have the annual pass as well This theme park is real fun if you really want to enjoy all these rides but if you are not interested for any of this ride then also you can pretty much enjoy the beach or the you know all kind of seafood they also have one casino so you can be there as well so with these three attractions we had a very nice uh, weekend and while coming back we found this amazing romantic ride back so we enjoy a lot please let me know if you want to go all this location and explore and don't forget to share your experience in the comment section thank you so much thanks for watching and see you in my next location till then bye